Peace to the world. Today, I'm gonna try and plant some corn. We have this like little clearing spot right here uh, that already has a bunch of sort of like raised rows. So there was obviously some sort of garden here before. Um, so I'm gonna clean it up, try and put some corn in there, maybe even some pumpkins. This will be like our fun little fall corner. It's super overgrown and need some serious TLC before we can actually plant in it. So that's my objective today. So we borrowed this rototiller. Thought maybe this would be enough to break up this grass and get our garden space ready. Not sure if it's gonna work out. It's doing some damage though. I just don't know if it's gonna be able to do this whole space. So the tiller wasn't quite enough. We had to bring out the big guns. There's a lot of grass weeds and stuff that have been growing in there over the decades. This guy should do the job. The big guy. What do you call that guy? A tractor? The bobcat. There wasn't a the bobcat. Despicable me. <laughs> despicable me. <laughs> he gave it to this place up. Now I'm rototilling. And rototilling, tilling, and tilling Tillin. with a Tillin. piece of machinery. So, and now the ground looks so much better. Look at that. I can plant in something like that. So we got some of our roads. It looks good. So we took, we brought in a tractor. Well, took two tractors really. My parents' tractor, which didn't do much. Right. Hired a tractor. You went over it. It's been tilled. Five times? Yeah, after Tilled that. over. And then, even still, in some of these rows, there's still the roots of the grass, because it had just been probably decades since this area had been touched. Decades? So, you think decades? I think decades. Here towards me. The corn we already have. Yeah, our starter plants. And then this will be all seed. That'll be all seed. So you're going in squares. Blocks. Blocks are better uh, than rows. Yeah, but isn't a square a block? I said a square, and every time I say square, you say block. Yeah, I don't know why. It's the same thing. Yeah, so it's it sounds like you're correcting me, though. No, I'm just you're trying to be scientific about it. I'm not. I don't know why I do that. I actually have a habit of doing that. I, all the time where I just, and I don't have no one touch, I'm not trying to correct, I just like reiterate what people say, but sometimes I'll just say it differently and people always think that I'm correcting them. It makes it sound like you're questioning them, yeah. And I don't mean, that's not my intention at all. You wanna talk about pollination? Yeah, so corn. The idea is because corn is pollinated by the wind, and so if you have rows, there's not much opportunity for the pollen to get from stalk to stalk. But whereas if they're in blocks, the pollination is kind of kept confined within the, the plot of corn and they're able to pollinate each other uh, properly. Is this your definition of living well, Matt? Yeah. It's, it is though, it's, it's therapeutic. Well. Gardening is good for your soul. Working with the earth is good for your soul. You gotta get a hoe. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, look at your fingers and your shoes. Fuck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Lost a tire. 
Oh. Single leg deadlift. Put that leg back. Oh my god. Ah! 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 I'm falling. Oh my, I don't want to get mud. Oh my gosh. This is a disaster. Hop! I don't want to mess up the rows because it's so soft because it's all wet and. Now both of my hands are mud. Bugs will leave my face alone. Get out of here! You know what's interesting about this whole like gardening craze? Craze? Yeah, because I mean, this is something we plan on doing. Like this is the lifestyle that we've been trying to build for years, like working towards building. But now with everybody in quarantine, like gardening's become a craze. Like even it's the reason why we ended up with this specific fence is because they were out of so everything else. Out of everything else. When we went to go get our starter plants from a nursery, we had to go show up because show up before they opened the morning their truck came because they were just selling out of everything. I think people have been craving something a little bit more tangible and real or something that they can see like the fruits of their labor to be able to plant something and have their hands in the dirt. Yesterday Crow was, it started with this whole conversation because we were talking about, we have these webs uh, all over our land that are from wolf spiders. And I was talking, telling him about how wolf spiders they eat grasshoppers. They eat a lot of insects, a lot of the insects that will damage your garden. And I was saying, so it's actually good that we have those wolf spiders and they're generally not uh, harmful or dangerous for humans. But he got really upset because he loves the grasshoppers. <laughs> He's really upset that these spiders eat the grasshoppers. And then we started talking about just the circle of life and everything. And at first he was super responsive and just like, yeah, it's a circle. And I was really into the conversation, but then it took a turn, I think, when the like, sort of reality of the, the darkness of it, of just like eating each other. And he got really sad about it. And he didn't like, and then he was saying he didn't like the wolf spiders. The conversation was upsetting him because his cricket or his grasshoppers that he loves so much were getting eaten. It's the same as like, we eat chicken, right? And we, you love our chickens, but we eat chicken. And then he just went into this whole thing. He doesn't want to eat meat anymore. He's like, I wish that, he said, I wish that people eating, eating animals wasn't, didn't exist, never existed. <laughs> Until he learns where pepperoni comes from. So listen. I'm not gonna force you to eat meat. You have to eat more vegetables to make up for it. We have corn! Finally! Now, everything else needs to get in the ground. Silver Queen, sweet corn, on the way. Mm -hmm.